Okay, with Blowhard out of the way, we can start the next main board. Battle Ray on map number 5. Yeah, I've gotten really, I've gotten a really big liking to how uh, Tumble says hi. That's a real map number five. Creepy Cavern, Shining Gym, and Salami Bugs. The difficulty is three stars, and we shall meet today's challengers. Yoshi, Wario, and Peach. The story mode, the term number set to 15. Bonus stars are off. Oh, bonus stars are on. Handicap is off. You choose mini games to all. Good luck, and let's start. Battle Royale map number five. Welcome Luigi, welcome to the legendary Creepy Cavern. In this fantastic rocky cavern, you'll battle to become the superstar. And if we win, we get the Courage Star Stamp. But before we begin, we have to decide the turn order. And Yoshi got a 10, meaning he's going first. I got a 9, I'm going second. Mario got a 4, he's going third. Peach got a 2, and she's going fourth. We shall all start out with 10 coins. And with that, let's start the game. Uh, okay, let me show you where the first star is. The first star is right there. Grab it for 20 coins. And let's actually start the board. I think I'll, I think I'll just turn the uh, speed to normal. For, for normal boards, I'll put the speed to normal. And then for dual boards, I'll put, this, put the moving speed to fast. And I got a 7 as well. So I'm laying on the same space as Yoshi. Wario got a 9. And everybody's having to give up 5 points to Koopa Bank. Wario's going to play an item minigame. And he's getting a poison mushroom. Now it's Peach's turn. She got an 8. And she's laying on an item space as well. She got a normal mushroom. Now I'm playing a four player game. He says hi, we've played this one before. It's it's a minigame where you have to shoot each other down with little bullets and bullet builds. And Yoshi got hit. Yoshi's out already. <laughs> ah, pull a bell. I do the edge of the screen. Uh, I am sick of these allergies in my nose. I've been having these allergic nose problems for the past few weeks now, and it is just annoying. Normally, I don't usually have allergies during the uh, spring or summer. It's usually always during the winter, but for some reason I'm having them during the spring this, this time of the year. And Wario is out. Luigi won! Yay! <laughs> So, out of all the boards in Mario Party 3, this is probably my fav my favorite one. Right next. Okay, why? I was trying to talk, but Yoshi just had to interrupt. What is with this game giving out free stars like that? Is it's it's silly. It's just weird. And it's annoying when I'm trying to talk, and yet that thing happens. 
and it's battle game time. Huh, <laughs> kind of ironic how Yoshi has 10 coins, 1 star, 11, he had a bunch of, he has 1, 1, he has 1 star, 1 coin, he's in first place and he goes first. <laughs> and we're playing a new mini game called Eyesore, or Eyesore, I pronounce it Eyesore, and Eyesore you just, uh, I pronounce it as like Eyesore, but in Eyesore you just, Look, you just run around this Mr. I, trying to get it to go away, while dodging fire or potato boats. And if you get it done first, you win. All right, I got first, and now that I said I could talk about the mini game. Um, there's fireballs you do avoid. You have to also watch out for the little eye thing. If you if you accidentally run into it, you'll get hurt from it. And whoever gets it done fastest wins. Whoever gets it done the least fastest loses. <coughs> and that's all there is to eye sore. Sore sour. Dower Hower, however you pronounce it. Like, if you were to say the word, uh, Jocker, J O C K E R, or Joker, I mean, J O J O K E R, Joker, you, would you pronounce it Jock, like, Joker, or Jocker, like, there's a C in there? And we're playing 1 versus 3 with me as the one player. We're playing hide and sneak. Okay, good. I I do not like the spotlight. I was thinking of spotlight swim. That one mini game where you're having to swim around and you have, you have three lights that could shine on you. You lose. Glad it's not that one. And nobody was in the toad or the mushroom house. Or could they be hiding the house? Let's check the bushes. Nobody was in the bushes, they were all in the tree stump. So if they all go in the same spot and I pick it, I win. If I'm going to lose, probably. Darn. Oh well. Looks like I got two out of two out of three. Mario Peach Yoshi one. But anyways, out of all the boards in Mario Party 3. Um, this board, Creepy Caverns, is probably my favorite, or my second favorite, right next to Spiny Desert. I, I like I like the creepy atmosphere of this board. It's something you normally don't really see in recent Mario parties. I usually see the Bowser board instead. Um, how many moves do I have left? I have five, three, four. Oh man. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I think I'll just. Okay, nobody has any coins, so I guess I'll just. I'll just keep stocking my coins up. And I'll. I'll land on the Bowser space. If I get really lucky, he'll have a reverse curse and he'll ha make that happen. Nope. Instead, all I did was lose 20 coins. I should have went for the magic lamp. So much decision making. Oh well. I should have went for the question mark too. For like a happening space. In happening spaces in this board, they have a little train that goes across the board. If you are in the middle of those tracks, you will get hit by the train and go to the other side of the board. This 
Borden reminds me of um, Pyramid Park from Mario Party 7 because there's like just two sections and there's not really much ways you can cross. Playing etch and catch. Me and Mario are not doing too good on this. Hopefully, we can at least get a draw. Nope, better, we won. Barely. Yeah, I'm in third. I made a stupid mistake by going for the Bowser space and I'll just climb back up. And wow, nobody is getting that star. I definitely should have went for the magic lamp. And the womp makes. Then you take your five coins, Koopa. Uh, I'm going to go this way. I want the item game. Winner's Wheel. Have we played this one yet? Uh, I don't think so, but in Winner's Wheel, you just spin a wheel and hope you get uh, you, the button you press lands on the item you want. Like, I want the I want the Bowser suit. No, I got the reverse mu or the, the poison mushroom. You can kind of predict where it would land like if you if you want the poison mushroom, you can land it like on the plunder chest. Sometimes that works, it doesn't really work all of the time. And I'm actually feeling into talking to Mood right now, which is cool because when I was playing um, Blowhard earlier, I wasn't really into talking to Mood. Other than random sounds. We play another minus space. And I'm playing another 2 vs. 2 game. Log Jam. I'm the person who chops up the logs. Okay, good. Um, I'm trying to talk and concentrate on this at the same time, and I'm doing neither. I'm kind of concentrating a little bit more than I'm talking. Okay, where are the where are the B button logs? There's one. There's another. Yay! You win my whole two logs. Oh, so yeah, um... Oh, I already explained why I like cre Creepy Cavern. Um... Mario, you have too many coins. So the thing that make, the thing that I really find um uh, okay, oh she's back to having one one ones with everything. Um the thing that I just I, I have a little bit of a phobia with this board as well. It's not really much of of a phobia. It's actually uh a near death experience that happened when I was I don't even think it was a near death experience. But, um, I was playing this board one time, and then, um, um, it was like kind of late at night, like at 10 o'clock, since it was like on the weekend during the summer in 2008 in the middle of July, no not July, um, I think it was, I was about to say spring, but spring is not a month, but, um, Okay, I keep getting distracted with all these mini games. Uh, 
Here we go, Chomp. I do not like the minigames on this game. They are luck-based. And it's annoying. I'll just pick the yellow. But, um, anyways, I was playing this game kind of late at night, like at 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Um, I went to go in the living room to, uh, um, I didn't go in the living room. I went, um, outside into my backyard with some nail clippers to cut my fingernails. And then, um, next thing I know, apparently I'm on the ground. And there is this, like, there's this big gush of blood on my leg. And, like, on, on, my, on my right leg. And, like, it's like, it's about the size, it was about the size of, um, an average circle. I don't even really know what an average circle looks like, but just a normal, um, okay, on a piece of paper, those little holes that are on the side, it was about, like, three times as big as that. Um, alright, I won. First. Anyways, the, there was this, like, this, this hole in my, in my leg, and it, it, like, had blood on it. And then, I tried, I tried walking, but, um... Then, as, as I tried walking, I felt like the, the pain in it was just so painful. And apparently, I might have accidentally hit my head on on the on the um, the wall, like the the house's outside wall or concrete. Um, after that, that, that kind of like knocked me out because I apparently hit it so hard. And then, I'm guessing, somebody came outside, like one of my family members, and they saw what was wrong. Um, and then after, I keep saying um a lot, I don't know, I need to quit saying that. I, I, it's like, one of the, one of my family members saw it, I'm guessing that they tried 